Yes, this is true. So this is basically this is basically what we mean when we have the gun off on this particular subject matter. We say the covert, the covert conspiracy against His Imperial Majesty, the covert conspiracy against Ethiopia. His Majesty is that point man, but because they was able to slander, demonize, and twist and distort for over 40 years public opinion concerning Haile Selassie and some, and some key individuals, some of them who have flip-flopped even today. You understand now that they see the tide going the other way, now they're saying good things about his imperial magic, good things about Haile Selassie, and many of these ones are many Ethiopians. You understand now, I don't know whether they have really repented, changed their ways, or whether they just see the handwriting on the wall proverbially and prophetically. However, it's very important for us to see that the Illuminati the Freemasons, the so-called Anglo-American conspiracy, the white, global white supremacy conspiracy. And when we say global white supremacy, we're not saying all white people. This is very important for us to emphasize. We're not saying all white people because many white people, the so-called European people, um, European descendant Caucasian so-called people, are as ignorant, and some of them even more ignorant, you understand? And they've been dispolarized against black folks. So when we start to speak about black Jesus or, or Jesus being black in spirit and in truth, when we start to speak this good news and gospel, they get offended because of their ignorance. But equally, many black folks, you understand, at home and abroad are also equally ignorant and especially his own people. Like the Bible say, he came to his own and his own received him not. And this is the key testimony of Kedamawi Haile Selassie. This is the key testimony of this particular time that makes this particular time in this dispensation, the dispensation that is spoken of in the scriptures prophetically that links with that dispensation. In the words, as they did to the Son of God, so they do to our God Father, So until we become conscious of the half of the truth that hasn't been told, we will be unconscious to what's going on right now and why is it going on right now. So the only solution to this crisis that we're in is to become informed, to get accurate knowledge, accurate information, to, to put the pieces together to see the true view of history. So for the last 40 years, we have to look over the last 40 years and go back to 1974 and recognize that was the pivotal time. Even we can go a little further back to 1961 and 63 and the OAU and the whole African liberation in Africa, which was spearheaded by Adamawi Haile Selassie, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah upon the throne of David with a 3,000 year old biblical history and that biblical connection. You understand that ones may dispute, ones may deny it or doubt it or whatever like that, but it's established already. So that, that is what Keeley makes this so prophetic. What Keeley makes those who ignore the truth to be worse, the worst liars, deniers, concealers of what they know to be true. So the thing is that Hala Selassie, Hala Selassie was direct and overt. In other words, he was direct and overt. He spoke and he did. You see, unlike many of these other so-called leaders and, and personalities that many times have been more popularized and more accepted as so-called black and revolutionary and it was about the cause, we can see the real work of Kedamawi Haile Selassie. We can see that what he said, he did. He performed. You understand? And because he did what he said and what he said to do was fulfilled and accomplished, those Satanists and Luciferians and secret society people and Illuminati people, they were desperate they were desperate to stop that tide, the tide that was sweeping Africa. And how could they stop that tide? They, they looked and they looked and they looked. 
and it was difficult for them for, for a long while. You understand? Until it dawned on them that the very same thing that their spiritual ancestors, the evil spiritual ancestors, the unfaithful Jews and the, and the Romans did to Jesus Christus, Jesus Christ, they would do to the King of Kings to find their own Judases. You understand? Among the, the Judahites. You understand? To find their own Judases. The careless Ethiopians. Those who could be compromised. Those who could be conned. Those who would believe the lie. And many of these. And many of these. And many of these.